Welcome, you guys. Spinach tits is gone tonight. Spinach hog tits. <laughs> If you're watching, then you know exactly what I'm talking about, and you're welcome. We're going to do an isolation comedy fan favorites where you guys voted. And if you didn't vote, I'm sure you don't know what we're talking about, and you missed it. It's too late. We already made the lineup, and it's happening right now. Firstly, thank you for welcoming me and these comics into your home. You guys did not have to do this. Uh, this is not something you had to do. I'm uh, drinking beer out of a wine can tonight uh, because I went to St. Elmo Brewery and we're still serving wine. And I uh, I got a little bit of a, a cooler here uh, full of my favorite beers so that I'll be stocked <laughs> up and ready to laugh at all these funny comedians. Well, what are we watching? Welcome to Isolation Comedy by Comedy Wham. Comedy Wham? Austin Comedy releases podcasts, articles, album reviews, hosts live events, calendar producing, live shows on Twitch on Tuesdays and Fridays. That's this. That's what you're watching. If you know if you're watching, this is not a typical stand-up show. Normally we're going, you have to pay 20 bucks. And after that, buy two really fucking expensive drinks and don't yell at the comics. Drink as much as you want. And also yell at the comics right there in the chat. Hop in, it is fun. Also, if you really want to say something directly to a comic, you they made some fucking offensive joke and you've just been waiting to tell them. A Venmo them. Venmo them because they will read money. I found that reading money is my favorite way to read. Okay, you guys do that. And uh, also, if you love them, you could also just you know, do that. But maybe you guys are like, whoa, I don't know any of these comics. I just love comedy. Well, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> We're going to do something fun for you and put it in PayPal, all right? Comedy Wham takes nothing and uh, we just give it up to anybody, okay? Oh, that's all the, the deets. I'm Colton Dowling. Um, I, I'm going to be your host for tonight. I'm going to guide you through what's happening. I, uh, I've been fighting with my boyfriend. Chip, if you're watching, thank you for tuning in. Wait, that? <laughs> <laughs> That's one thing about these fucking virtual shows is like, he could be watching and I say, who was right. But you know what? I will admit I should have done the dishes. I've admitted to all the comics already. I should have done the dishes. Okay, that is fair. Um, I think the really is like a dog will be living with you, and our dog has a, I don't know how to phrase this for dog anatomy, but a rash on her vagina. And we have to give her antibiotic wipes around her vagina two times a day. And so then I didn't do the dishes. And then Chip said, what the fuck? I hate you so much, blah, 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 blah. Did you wash Reba's vagina? <laughs> and I was like, because you still have to take care of business. And you know what? Uh, I'm going to take care of business as a host. I'm going to bring up you guys' uh, next comedian. Let's get it started with your very first comic that you guys chose. Uh, you guys didn't choose me, but I'm going to be here anyway. <laughs> hey, this next comic. His favorite podcast is Roommates for Life. <laughs> and also, he wants you to know, you should specifically watch the uh, Dan Van Dirk show, who was just recently on. He also is probably the person who I think uh, visually is faring the best out of this quarantine. Like, this guy looks good, okay? <laughs> that is okay for me to say I hear. Give it up for Harrison <laughs> Hammonds. <in your Woo! laughs> Hey everybody, we're gonna do, uh, we're gonna start us off with another fun little art tutorial, guys. Today, we're gonna learn how to draw uh, a monster. Okay. So any monster, it's honestly a pretty simple formula. You're gonna start with just any animal body. And you can pick whichever animal you want. I'm gonna do a fish, 
because I can't think of a thing that just starts off scary enough. Uh, that's that works for me. So we're gonna start with a fish body. Uh, that might not look like a fish body to you yet, but just see, look, bam, that's all it takes. One little line there, one little line there. That's a fish, baby. Uh, and then after you got your body, you're just gonna start adding other parts. So we're gonna put a, we're gonna give it a mouth, and that's a good big old smiley mouth. Uh, and then we're going to give it little monster teeth and it's going to just have little, little monster teeth, just like that. Yeah, that's good. That's what you want right there. Give it some eyes. And the thing about fish eyes is that they don't look in the same direction. So this one's going to go that way. And this one's going to go that way. That's good. That's a good fish right there, baby. <laughs> that's what we want that's what we want make sure that we're gonna we're gonna color this in to give it a real maw feel less of a mouth more of a maw because we got a monster here and then uh we're just gonna keep giving it parts uh let's do let's do a human butt a real life human butt <laughs> real life human butt on this fish just as disconcerting as you can get it and then some <laughs> Some real long legs. How long can we get those legs? <laughs> right down to the bottom of the screen, baby. Right down to the bottom of the screen with them legs. Look at the gams on that fish. <laughs> uh, so we're gonna do that. Uh, you know what? Let's give it. Let's give it. Uh, let's give it a cool hat. That way, that way, when you slay the monster, you got some loot to take home with you. <laughs> so we're gonna give it a hat. That's gonna be a hat. That's uh, that's plus one charisma right there, baby. <laughs> that's plus one charisma on that fish right there. Uh, real life human butt, long ass legs. Uh, what else does it need? Well, uh, let's give him shoes. This guy just wears clothes. <laughs> yeah. I, He's got a pair of nice boots. Uh, There's some PF Flyers. He's sponsored by PF Flyers. Uh, we'll give him some of those real quick. And that's a nice little bit of perspective right there. It's a little trick you can use at home. <laughs> shoe. That shoe, is, that shoe is coming right at you. Uh, what else does he need? He needs... Uh, we'll give him eyebrows. How's this fish feeling? We'll have him be worried. He's worried. He doesn't know. He doesn't know what's coming up next. Uh, hell yeah, dude. Um, and then, if you're a monster, man, I don't. Let's 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 work on this butt real quick. Let's just, <laughs> Let's get that. Yeah, that's way better. See, that's all it takes sometimes. Sometimes it's just the adding of a line. Sometimes you just take one away, and that's how you go. We're working in Microsoft Paint, by the way, today. Some some artists some artists use acrylic paints. Some artists use watercolor paints. We're using Microsoft Paints. Uh, okay, let's do this. He's breathing fire. <laughs> breathing fire uh, yeah because it's important to get some color in there you know we want it we want that and then uh what else? where does he live where does he live he lives in a nice modern apartment so let's get him a sofa let's get him a sofa to live in a good it's a good little ikea sofa <laughs> and some little some little eggs for that and his uh, and his girlfriend is home his girlfriend is a bear <laughs> his girlfriend is a bear we're gonna start with a bear head and then we'll give her Give her some eyelashes. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
The fucking sexy ass bear lady. <laughs> <laughs> Sitting on the couch. <laughs> Hell yeah, bear lady. Uh, great. Whoa. You know what? <laughs> That's good. That's what you want. That's what you want, <laughs> right there. And she's uh, she's watching. She's watching Frasier. <laughs> <laughs> She's got Frazier over here. And we'll do. I found a scrambled eggs. Jeez. Fray. I don't remember what the Frazier logo looks like. Here's the word Frazier, though. Frazier. And that's how you draw, guys. That's how you draw. I think we all learned a lot today. <laughs> Basically, you start you start with a thing and then you add more things. So thank you guys so much. Uh, <laughs> have a great day. and ham and i didn't even know that paint still existed like i thought that that (laughs) didn't exist you know when you could like plug that thing into your tv and make all those drawings i I thought it went away with that anyways that's been harrison hammond this next person actually you know what i I gotta do one more thing because i forgot it right here is a subscribe button Uh (laughs) uh-oh Right here is the subscribe <laughs> button. And if you could do that, that'd be very cool. Also, if you would like to PayPal, because you know what, you didn't pay anything to get here, I'm assuming, unless, I don't know, you have to pay for screen time because your parents uh, only, I don't know, make, I don't know rules. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to make rules, but I don't fucking have any sort of boundaries. Hey, <laughs> thank you guys so much for being here. And if you like it, give us money. How about that? How about another comic? This next comic is the host of You Look Like. In fact, she roasted me harder than anyone I've ever roasted, and my mom cried laughing. Give it up, (laughs) Cuomo! The thing that made Colton's mom laugh so hard, I called him an unemployed Ken doll, and that's pretty accurate right now. (laughs) 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 Oh, sorry, Colton. Anyway, I'm this is Asian American Pacific Islander Heritage Month. You're welcome, uh, because I'm here, uh, and I wanted to share with you guys, uh, my skincare routine, because I'm going to look young forever. Um, my mom <laughs> is amazing. I'm, I'm fat, but it's fine. Okay, so I got this Hello Kitty mask. It's a problem solver, because I'm also unemployed. So <laughs> we're going to put this mask on. It's really cute. It was really expensive when I had a job. Uh, I could afford it, but... I really like being poor and using all the bougie shit that I used to be able to afford and then, you know, just cry when all my Bath and Body Works candles are burnt out. I can't get this unfolded. Anyway, put that right there. So I'm going to tell you guys about the time (laughs) that I went to a Korean spa. Um, I don't, I don't know if you guys have been to a Korean spa. Um, they're pretty cool. Uh, it's where you pay like $200 for a lady to put on some a bra and underwear and sandpaper gloves and exfoliate your butthole. <laughs> I, I experienced that. So in when you go to the Korean spa in Dallas, they divide you by gender. 
because in Dallas there's only two genders and um, <laughs> uh, can't see. So basically for your body scrub, you have to prepare your body. You have to sit it naked in a hot tub with 30 other naked women. <laughs> um, that's pretty tight. That's pretty tight. Um, I like dick, but was, there's boobs. Uh, anyway, <laughs> There's also jets you can accidentally turn on. So great. Anyway, <laughs> I went there with my best friend, and um, I don't I don't know if you know what a pinup model looks like, but I do. And so we chilled in the hot tub. I accidentally let the jets go off, and then there was a Korean auntie, and she came and she called my number because she doesn't know my name. And then uh, she brought me to this like weird back room. This was all legal, by the way. I paid too much money for this. <laughs> and um, I had to sign a contract saying that this was non-sexual. It was fine. <laughs> so I'm naked and she slaps the massage table and is just like, get on. And I'm like, this is going to be a ride. So she has her sandpaper gloves on. She touched every single part of me. I've not been touched that intimately since my parents were changing my diaper. Like she lifted my leg. <laughs> she got in there. She got in there with sandpaper gloves. I don't. <laughs> she didn't just touch me. She scraped my dead skin off. <laughs> anyway, so she did this for like an hour and a half. Uh, I tried not to cry. I flipped on the table a lot, like a beached fish. And um, then she had a garbage can full of hot water that she just dumped on me constantly. It was a beach fish. All while slapping my body. Anyway, this is like really sad. <laughs> but I really loved it. <laughs> I, I would go back. She even washed my hair. How sweet is that? But anyway. Yeah. I've also been playing a lot of World of Warcraft a lot. That's why I seem really awkward. Because um, I'm regressing back to being like a 20 year old. <laughs> that's unemployed. Um, desperate well, for attention. Sounds like an AA meeting. Is this an AA meeting? It's <laughs> not an AA meeting. It's a comedy show. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it kind of feels like an AA meeting. Unless you guys Venmo me a lot, then um, that's pretty tight. But that who? Who is that guy? Hey, who are you? Why are you in this box? <laughs> <laughs> I was invited in by a very important person, and I can't Ooh. disclose that. You can't disclose the very important person? <laughs> Was it me? Invite only, or is this public? Hey Dave, shut up, Dave. Yeah, no, it's like me. it's pretty public. <laughs> Mute it. <laughs> guy, can you like also get him off the screen because he was really ugly and it like made me sad. <laughs> <laughs> like he looked like the drawing that like Harrison just did. <laughs> <laughs> himself. <laughs> but it's okay. I'm still here, guys. My forehead's still moisturizing. <sighs> what else do you want to know about me? I don't really care because I can't see the Twitch stream. So uh, <laughs> it's Asian American Heritage Month and Pacific Islanders. Don't forget the Pacific Islanders because we're all the nurses. I swear to God, every other nurse is Filipino, so you better fucking hug them. Um, actually, don't touch them at all. Just give them money. Venmo me, and I'll take care of them. Um, but yeah, that's my time. Thank you guys so much. Have a good night. Say hi to that ugly dude that popped in. <laughs>
isolation comedy show. Holly Cuomo. Uh, sorry, I was distracted. Whoever the fuck that guy was, I saw his face. He was just so confused. And then Ernest was there. <laughs> a meeting. Like it actually was the A meeting. Which, uh, they are. If you need help doing that, it's a virtual. But just like, why was he so confused about where he was? <laughs> God. That's, I mean, to be honest, this is why I miss live comedy because you guys just have fucking crazy people. Who was that? That is one of our best friends, okay? And I should not be making fun of him, okay? So I will stop. Hey, how about another comic? Oh, yeah, we have invited a lot of people in here. Uh, you might hear a very funny laugh that you probably know. His name is Marcus Wilson. So welcome, Marcus, everybody. Um, <laughs> And Michaela, thank you so much for being here. And if you're laughing, thank you guys so much. We have invited a little bit of an audience. So that's what's happening. That's what this background noise is. We're trying to make it a little bit more interactive. All right. This next man, he'll go way out of his way to make it interactive. In fact, he will solicit nipples. Okay. Spinach nipples to be precise, but he will do it. All right. He has a podcast. You probably seen him on Amazon Prime. Roommates for Life, Harrison Hammond's favorite podcast. <laughs> he decided to use his credits as this man's life, okay? Um, seen on Inside Jokes, you guys have seen this man before. We all love him. Give it up for MK Paulson. Yep. I'm dying. All right. It is good to be here. How's everybody doing? It is. Yes. Oh, look at this. I got my coffee, having some night coffee because I'm a psychopath. Uh, fun fact, my roommate did leave me uh, for dead to stay with his girlfriend. And this coffee mug is pictures of her and her dog. So <laughs> it's when you get it hot, it starts to reveal itself. Much like my roommate, he left me for dead. <laughs> All right. Here. Uh, what's been going on with me during the core? That's right. Playing with my magic wand a little bit. And I, uh, <laughs> I do mean that literally. I actually have a magic wand right here. Uh, it was given to me by my roommate's dad who has left me. I don't know if I mentioned that or not. Very sad to be alone at home. But we do have a podcast together called Roommates for Life. Probably need to change the name if we're being honest. So something to think about there. No, I'm not bitter. I'm doing great. Quarantine's growing great, you know. Um, the other day I made about uh, breakfast burritos for about 10 days and uh, only lasted me for three. <laughs> Eating my weight in breakfast burritos, true nightmare. I don't know what's going on. It's fine. <laughs> Been masturbating around the clock, if we're being honest. Uh, and I've, I've realized I like my porn like I like my wine, you know, a good vintage from France. I don't know what it is about those bad boys, but really they used to do it better in the 80s. Anyway, I... <laughs> <laughs> I've really let go a little bit, maybe too hard. I uh, anybody needs to come over do some laundry. You can do it on my washboard flabs. Am I right? They are really profound. I uh, can't get enough. I walked in on my. I do have another roommate, um, not the one that abandoned me. Another roommate. <laughs> I, I don't know if you guys heard the memo. I do have 74 roommates. So kind of the, that's they always say the more successful you are, the more roommates you will have. So that is. Nice to do that. Anyway, I uh, walked I accidentally walked in on my roommate pooping the other day, and that was, you know, so embarrassing. Uh, <laughs> didn't want him to think I was some sort of pooping Tom. Am I right? You know, that was... <laughs> Yikes! All right. I, none of this is good. It is Friday night, date night. You know, the night I eat a lot of dates, and I am uh, <laughs> very hungry. Can't stop eating. So sad. Saw a sandwich so good the other day, I wanted to sit on its open face. All right. I was made ace everywhere. Anybody? I was, I, I, many of you know I'm a prominent homosexual and I am a prominent homosexual. Uh, that's the way people say it in Los Angeles. Anyway, I uh, am a prominent homosexual and I, I miss the days of walking down the street hand in hand with another man and someone yelling out, hey, it's Adam and Eve, not Adam and Steve. 
And I think they have a point. Could you imagine Adam and Steve in the Garden of Semen? I mean, it would be embarrassing. It would be like, you're going to eat that apple, you fat whore. It's going to go straight to your thighs. And then Adam will be like, it's going to go gay to my thighs. All right. I guys are more flaming than the sword guarding to the Eden. All right. I don't know what I'm talking about, but that is a sketch I'm trying to write and not having much luck at it. So I thought I'd throw it out there with all this garbage. Um, I'm no Harrison Hammonds. You guys probably know that. I am not but I have every week that I've been on the show, or every time I've done the show, kind of checked in with you guys about how the castle I'm drawing is going. So I thought I'd give you guys a quick castle update. Here we go. Surprise, she is finished. Look at that. Look at that. A master penis, they're saying. It is great. Doesn't look nice. Look at the detail. I'm going to get it real close. I did all of those stones. It's like a 40,000 piece puzzle, but I just kept doing it because i literally have nothing else to do very sad um <laughs> holly was talking about not enjoying the korean spas in dallas or maybe she did enjoy it i don't know i can't recommend it enough love of panice i uh those bad boys they're everywhere i love walking around nude in a group setting anybody just me <laughs> all right just crazy eyes over here i don't i'm trying to I'm also like uh, Colton and Holly, also unemployed. Uh oh, going through the three P, three unemployed comedians, back to back. You know, it is exciting times for us. But I, um, I'm not working right now. I am a stay-at-home sad, and I, um, <laughs> it's great yeah. getting out there. Uh, you know, ordering online from Chipotle, exploring different Chipotles, and I, uh, a lot of reasons to love Chipotle. You know, I like the wall art. Don't get to see much of it these days, but I am a bit of a culture vulture. Anyway, I'm also into McDonald's. Thank God they haven't shut down the McDonald's drive-through. Y'all hitting this up? The best part about the McDonald's drive-through right now, uh, coming out to your McDonald's drive-through person. That's always fun to let them know. I don't know why. Instead of coming <laughs> my career, but coming out to people is my passion. So I can't can't seem to stop doing that. Anyway, I was. Uh, I love the McDonald's. Here's the thing. I love the McDonald's drive through trash can. I'm not sure if you guys are checking this bad boy out, but you can just roll on up to that McDonald's drive through trash can after you just came out to the McDonald's drive through lady and uh, you can put your car in park and then clean all the crap out of your car. Doesn't matter what it is. Throw your seat back. Make that time about you. People be like, hey, MK, what are you doing today? I'm like, oh, I'm going to drop off an old Christmas tree at the McDonald's drive through trash can. <laughs> what to do with. So really explore that. This set's been a lot like my own jock strap, you know, crammed in there with a lot of junk. And I am sorry. So anybody, I'm like, I'm, quarantine's taught me a lot. I like my water. Like I like a good dance number, you know, a tap. All right. I... <laughs> It's the best joke I've written in six weeks. And <laughs> is it even good? The answer is no. I do wish I were dead. All right. Oh. I, um, one time I remember this the other day, I got a blow job in the woods and I was like, can we take this? I don't want to do this. Let's go to my bedroom because uh, I wanted it to be more like 9-11. Am I right? An inside job. All right. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> I am so sorry. <laughs> don't know how to do comedy. Anything. <laughs> it's very, it's been very warm in california i know it's hot in texas i'm from texas it gets hot here's the thing nobody has uh, air conditioning out here and it got up to 95 i was so hot yesterday i literally could have come on myself it was all right that is how hot i am joke and um <sighs> I don't, then this is, I don't, none of this is good. And I hope, I don't know if I got the light. I think I'm supposed to hear a sound. All I can hear is the echo of my own bad jokes <laughs> in my brain. <laughs> some of you know I am, and these times are hard. I am Christian, Christian as fuck. And I, um, that's not true. I just wanted to say Christian as fuck. I think it's very funny. I've been, every night I pray the gay to stay. Hope it won't go away. I, um, could you imagine waking up and just being, a lot like that McDonald's drive through trash can, am I right? Absolutely garbage. Anyway, I terrifying. I'm not gay, but some of my, no, I am gay, but some of my best guy friends are actually uh, trash cans themselves. So that's fine. I don't know <laughs> what I'm, I realized that I went, the, the quarantine, I tried to donate blood the other day. They said they needed a lot of blood. And the guy asked me like what my, what my blood type was. And I was like, well, I'm a Samantha. And he was, uh, <laughs> it was uh, 
sir, gay men are not allowed to donate blood. So that was really humiliating <laughs> for me. And I do want to apologize to the state of California. And um, if anybody needs me, I'll be navigating the California unemployment mm -hmm. website for the next seven years. So uh, just check on me. I hope I make it out alive. Great to see everybody again. You're all perfect. Stay safe. And I wish I were dead. <laughs> Paulson, he tricked me into a couple masturbation jokes, and uh, I'm not often tricked into those. Also, Holly, <laughs> love what you do with the mask. I know the viewers can't see, but I just want I want them to feel jealous. Also, <laughs> sugar rub on your a hole. That sounds great. It's That's not sugar. It was just a sandpaper glove. Oh my god. <laughs> You mean I could do it at home? That's a you could. I can't reach I, my own asshole. So yeah, I have. You Don't could do yours at home. I've done it. I've done it all. Uh, I actually <laughs> find that the most awkward time when I go to get my butthole waxed, and I don't know if I'm supposed to go on all fours or uh, up, right? Anybody else? Just I, oh, no, yeah. I've never had my butthole waxed. <laughs> you guys, get smooth. It's it. I promise you the benefits don't stop coming that's that's my advice to you anyways uh how about this next comedian <laughs> i'm sorry but enjoy her so give it up she's been on high plains comedy festival she's been on this show she makes us laugh so much give it up for hannah jones <laughs> Hi, uh, I am Hannah. A um, little, little weird for me uh, to be doing live entertainment during this time. Uh huh. Because I don't know if you can tell by the amount of live flowers in my room, um, but I actually usually do jokes about not having a boyfriend. And um, right now, during a pandemic, uh, not a lot of people thinking too much about whether or not I have a boyfriend. And so I decided to sort of write some um, uh, some more current um, recent jokes um, about um, popular topics to sort of update my comedic voice for the current times. OK, so <laughs> got a few for you. Um, it, stimulus checks are like boyfriends because <laughs> uh, it feels like everyone has one but me and <laughs> um face masks okay medical masks are like boyfriends um because at first you're like oh i hope my breath is okay uh and after a while you just totally forget they're there <laughs> You find out they don't do much anyway, but it's fine. Um, coronavirus is like a boyfriend. Because um, again, it feels like everyone has it. And I haven't coughed in months. I don't even, I'm <laughs> licking bus window. Nothing for me. Millions of people, but but not me um i have i've been um isolating i've been watching a lot of tv uh watching a show called normal people but here's the catch it's not about normal people it's about <laughs> irish people and <laughs> all they do is they stare at each other and have sex which <laughs> I don't know what I expected. I guess I'm used to shows where more things happen than that. Um, but then I realized, I guess I should have expected, because like in American shows, like shoot people and make millions off of an unregulated free market. And I guess you don't do <laughs> that in Europe. So you just 
have sex all the time. Good <laughs> show. I don't have sex. I um I sort of instead get friend zoned a lot. Um, you don't really hear about women getting friend zoned, so I guess that's kind of a big feminist win for me. <laughs> <laughs> right. For a woman to succeed in the male dominated field of sexual rejection is incredible. <laughs> um, no, it's true. I get friend zoned. You don't hear about women getting friend zoned. You hear a lot about men getting friend zoned because when men get friend zoned, they get angry. <laughs> <laughs> right they're like oh i'm so mad i'm gonna buy a gun and so you hear about it <laughs> <laughs> women get friend zone too okay we just have a very different response we're sort of more just like oh very well then mr darcy <laughs> <laughs> you've chosen a languid pace for our courtship but I'm not one to be charged with impatience so i'll be here waiting oh you're getting engaged that's great <laughs> <laughs> love that <laughs> i uh i did before um the quarantine i was actually flirted at for the first time um fairly recently i was at a comedy show um not not like this one um like a like a real one not well not that this isn't <laughs> real but like um one with a sort of lots of like people having fun and um and I was at a comedy show, I was at the bar ordering a drink and a gentleman came up to me and he said, uh, hey, can I buy you a drink? <laughs> Which is a pretty well-known flirt. And <laughs> uh, I was like, oh, you know, I don't actually, because I, um, I get to drink for free because I'm a comedian on the show. And uh, he was like, I know, I saw you had a great set. Let me buy you a drink. I was like, oh, no, it's like I have a little ticket and I give the ticket to it. And he was like, yeah, hey, bartender, put whatever she's having on my tab. I was like, hey, listen, pal, <laughs> I don't think you're really getting it. OK, the drink is free. OK, the drink exists outside of the boundaries of capitalism. It is an exchange among craftspeople. OK. How about uh, I pay for the drink and you give me six dollars plus ten? <laughs> <laughs> and he walked away. So my friend was like, "Hey, you know, great job. Here's a thought. You could have flirted back." Uh, which is an uh, incredible suggestion. Um, I am actually <laughs> not capable of that. <laughs> and she was like, no, that's not true. You can flirt because you do a really good impression of a dolphin. And flirting is just like that. It's like you see something and you do an impression of it, you know? So you see people flirt and you just, you go for it. Um, so I was like, okay. And another time, not, too far later, man came up to me. He was like, hey, can I buy you a drink? And I was like, ah! and that didn't work either. Thank you guys so much for having me. the jones that was great i feel that every time i talk to another human being and uh i embarrass myself by saying words uh, that do sound like well what i'm doing right now you guys can uh, just feel the energy you know it's not great hey you guys thank you so much for having hannah jones and thank you so much for being here if you're just tuning in this is isolation comedy show and uh we're in your house thank you guys so much for having us um Subscribe, chat, you guys get it. If uh, you guys are enjoying yourself, tip it to PayPal. And now, another comedian. This next comedian features regularly at Cap City Comedy Club. He's also been on Sketchfest in SF. That's fun. Give it up for Hunter Duncan. <laughs> Oh, hello. Oh, hello. I uh, apologize earlier about uh, my friend who uh, 
uh, invaded the chat during Holly's set. Um, he is he is one of my special needs friends that um, I used to work with um, in finance. So uh, we're also sorry for the whole banking thing um, every year. Um, anyway, yeah, thank you for having me. Uh, I uh, I wanted to start off by you know everyone's supposed to wear masks and uh, it, you know when it was when a lot of people weren't aware of the mask thing. One of one of my buddies. Uh, saw a guy, I'm going to try to share my screen with you. He saw this guy, oh, nope, I just pulled it up on my own screen. Hey, you know what? How about share screen? Yep, there it is, desktop. I said, yes, share. Open system. Okay, well, you know what? I'm going to ignore all of that. Um, and essentially, there's a picture of a guy, and he's in the grocery store, and he's got a mask on, but the mask he's wearing is a woman's black lace thong and yeah. essentially what happened was this guy was in line because you know it's when there's the line to get into the grocery store he's in line and he's trying to get in and they tell him at the front you got to have a mask and he is frustrated and my buddy is watching this interaction and he's like fine i'll get a mask he leaves my buddy goes in and then he sees him five minutes later and he has a black woman's thong on his face and so there's no tags on it. He didn't go buy it. So there were only two ways that this guy got this thong, right? This 45 year old dude that just was strutting around in fucking umbros and a wife beater with a thong on his face. At 40, he went back to his car, right? And he's just a fucking playboy. You know, this guy is a lady killer, right? He's just banging chicks in the back of his 1993 Camry. And <laughs> it is just pleasuring them at such a level that, you know, clothes have been torn off and she is so satisfied that she's like, I don't even care what happened to my thong. I'm not even thinking about it. And then it just remains in his car for him to, you know, and then later he finds it and he's like, yeah, you know what? I'm just going to hang it over my rear view mirror like dice. <laughs> and I'm just going to, it's going to be my trophy that shows me. Yeah. I'm fuck. And so he went back to his car and he was like, yep, yeah, don't have a mask, but I got this. So we put that on. Uh, or sure. the other thing could be that he went back to his car and maybe his wife was in the car, maybe the girlfriend, whatever. I didn't see a ring. Uh, maybe the girlfriend was in the car and he was like, listen, all right, for me to get these, these flaming hot Cheetos that you want, I am going to have to MacGyver this thing. I need you to slide that underwear off. Okay. I thought about it during the whole walk from the, from the front of the store, all the way to the car. I need you to slide the underwear off. And then I'm going to just bury my face in it and I'm going to get you your Cheetos. Okay. This is the only logical thing that as to how this guy could have gotten underwear into, into his. Okay. Uh, I'm being muted. Okay. Thank you. Um, so anyway, that's all right. It's that bad of a story. Okay. I thought it would uh, get a better reception than that, but it turns out I'm being muted. Um, no, you're good. Uh, so I should have done that. You're, you're good. Um, <laughs> so anyway, it's just, uh, uh, I, I mean, or the only third option that I don't know may, is if this guy is wearing women's thongs around and he was like, all right, but you know what? I got you. And then he went back, took off the women's thong that he was wearing, uh, and then <laughs> buried it in to, you know, protect himself from Corona, but, you know, pretty much guarantee that we're going to get hepatitis. Um, <laughs> you know, that seemed like a, interesting or i don't think i could do i don't think i could wear like my own underwear i will say that i don't think i could wear my own underwear on my face i mean i have clean balls but you know <laughs> I have, i'm shedding pubes left and right that's a choking hazard um so uh i'm trying to think of what else um i've written oh lego my prego uh would be a good uh, abortion clinic motto um no? Okay. We're going to delete that. How do we put that out of a live show? Uh, we need to do that. Um, I feel like Marilyn Manson removing his rib was uh, the best quarantine prep anyone has done. Um, <laughs> you know, that's, uh, you spend your time sucking dick. Um, as long as it's your own, it's, that's fine, probably. Um <laughs> You know, uh, oh, a buddy of mine, uh, before the quarantine, I was walking around with a buddy of mine in San Francisco and he, had, we were, if you've been to San Francisco, you know that like they, they paint their houses downtown, like these really, you know, bright, cool colors. 
and I saw one and I was like, oh, dude, look at that cool blue house. And he was like, uh, dude, that's sea foam. <laughs> and I was like, fuck you, dude. Uh, you didn't need to do that. Um, but I don't know. It just in him saying that it, it showed me that like he's he grew up wealthier than me. Right. <laughs> just because I can I, I grew up with like an eight crayon box. You know, things are you're either blue or you're green, you know, Roy G. Biv. Uh, and you know, I mean, if I ran, if my, if my blue broke, I had to color the sky red because I was in hell. Um, but I don't know. And he definitely grew up with that 150 crayon box, you know, with like the sharpener on the back where, you know, or the little fleshlight, you know, sometimes you want to fuck things. Um, and, uh, I don't know. It's just, it, it's crazy to me that, um, forgot what I was going to say. I really thought that that underwear thing was going to land harder, but maybe that uh, all the comics are, you know, diving out to, uh, you know, jerk off because God, you know, they're running out of time, right? <laughs> uh, what else are you going to be doing? Um, what else did I want to say? Uh, oh, I, uh, I realized that the, uh, the, the nutritional value of eating pussy is not what you'd expect. Um <laughs> I also, uh, oh, I, the quarantine has allowed me. I, I realized that the mystery switch in my kitchen, uh, when you put, it turns me on. That's <laughs> um, boners all day. Um, and lifeguards are 78% more likely to save your life if you're drowning and uh, don't have back hair. That's, I also <laughs> learned that you need to be smooth if you want to live. Um, what else did I want to say? Um, oh, this just happened earlier. I uh, I we I was on a walk with my girlfriend, and I saw she was like, "Oh, that looks like uh, Prince," and she was pointing at this dude walking this dog, and her friend has a dog named Prince. And so I just, of course, being a dick, I was like, oh, yeah, you're right. That guy is pretty fucking ugly, right? And he looks like a dog. <laughs> and uh, she was like, "What?" And I was like all right well you know i'm gonna keep i was like he looks like the dog and like louder and then she was like what and then she kept saying it as we were walking and i'm like i'm just being louder and then we get past and she was like i heard you i was just saying what to get you to stop talking and I'm like, that doesn't i'm that doesn't make any sense i'm gonna keep yelling louder that's the worst way anybody could get somebody to stop talking okay well all right, that didn't, that didn't look either. Um, that's fine. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get about all of this. Um, I also, I'm uh, not. I'm looking at porn. This is not. Um, <laughs> not um, these are. I write out erotic fiction for myself. <laughs> but yeah, uh, what else did I want to say? Um, Marcus, you're out there. I miss you, buddy. How are you? You doing good? <laughs> miss you, Hunter. Oh, Man, that's all I wanted. If uh, if I can give my time back to Marcus, I would. Um, I uh, I think I'm what I'm about out of time. Oh, I'm about at time. Okay, well then you know what? That's it. Uh, that was amazing. All of my friends that crashed the uh, the viewing earlier probably have now seen this, and they're like, "Why did we even try to see this in the first place?" Um, anyway, Ma, I love you. Thank you for having me. Nice. Yeah. Oh, Hunter Duncan. Hey, everybody, that was great. Uh, also, I have some erotic fiction here, too. Uh, two slender men walking through San Francisco uh, talking <laughs> about house colors and which one is, is more seafoam. And then they seafoam <laughs> all over each other. And then, I mean, you know, it's a work in progress. Give it up for Hunter Duncan. I give his friends work in finance. And if y'all have five bucks, I bet you have a hundred. I bet you guys aren't even losing any money. That stock market looks sick, bro. I <laughs> you guys voted for Trump, probably a chip get the God damn it, this never meant to be a political show. But let me just get into it a little bit. <laughs> you guys want to hear more comedians. I know what you're doing. Uh, welcome to the show. 
Uh, we have our next comedian. She has a podcast, uh, People Enjoying Terrible Accents, which stands for PETA. Accidents! God damn it. I <laughs> <laughs> accidents. Accidents. Wait. Accidents? Okay. Yeah. Listen, this next comedian will tell you what her podcast is. It spells <laughs> out PETA, okay? And I know that they have not been sued by PETA yet. And <laughs> it has a pod, uh, an album. It is called Magpie. Nothing to do with the podcast. I hear I could be wrong about that, too. But... <laughs> You guys are gonna love her. Give it up for Andy May. Enjoying terrible accidents, <laughs> not <laughs> accents. It is a non-racist <laughs> podcast. Okay, what fucking podcast would that be? Hello, I'm my own mind, and I hate it when Africans talk. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> We actually make a point on the podcast when we're, we cover, we're vegetarians making fun of people who have been murdered by animals, which happens all across the country, okay? All across the globe. And if I have to read a story from someone in India who's describing being attacked by a fucking hippo, I make a point to do it in a very white accent. So to not be <laughs> racist. <laughs> anyway, uh, send me Venmo at Andy Dashman to keep that podcast going. It's great. Um, you guys, it is eight o'clock in Denver, Colorado, and that means that we are doing the eight o'clock howl. Our other people, comics, you can chime in. Our other comics or other other parts of the nation in Austin or LA or whatever doing the eight o'clock howl. No. No, no, that's just a Denver okay. thing. Okay. <clears throat> well, at eight o'clock, we all start howling, and it's literally happening right now. There are um, fireworks going off, and I'm going to howl real quick just to be a part of it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> no one gives a shit. Uh, I have been doing these Zooming be zooming podcast comedy shows from my balcony because i'm very inspired by the people of italy and um i felt like i would give all of my joy to my neighbors um there is a rabbit i'm gonna see if you guys can see it do you guys see that rabbit down there <laughs> this is my biggest draw yet okay a couple of jokes from my balcony for that gosh darn bunny his name's Br'er Br'er Rabbit okay. um, I also you know what pro tip um, if you get a soundboard you can start building in your own applause breaks <laughs> oh, wait this didn't work <laughs> Oh, well, I can hear it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. This is just for me. Oh, shit. Okay, here we go. You guys, um, last week, my period was so heavy and tense. How heavy and tense was it? <laughs> last week, my period was so heavy and tense that Werner Herzog should have narrated it. <laughs> Most people don't know who Werner Herzog is. That's fine. I've bombed with this joke before. Don't worry. <laughs> For those who don't know who Werner Herzog is, he is a German nihilist film director, and he is most famous... <laughs> For his movie Grizzly Man, which is literally a movie about a man getting eaten by a bear. So, um, uh, spoiler alert. Do you guys remember how jokes work anymore? Okay, here we go. I think we got the soundboard. 
Did you guys hear that? Did that work? Okay. That's real. That happens every time. Okay. Um, <laughs> here is Werner Herzog documenting my period. Are you ready, little funny rabbit? <laughs> <laughs> Fun fact about rabbits, they don't get periods so that they can make babies all the time, just like in Alabama. Okay. <laughs> it's Werner Herzog documenting my period. Okay, here we go. Her ovaries. <laughs> Despairing with the futility of fertility. <laughs> released her uterine lining as if she was offering oxygen to dying climbers on Mount Everest <laughs> I really wish that someone would be outside paying attention to me besides this rabbit <laughs> at first the sheer amount of gore was horrifying <laughs> Until she realized it's echoing out here, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Until she realized every aching crap to fight. <laughs> I don't know why the echo is so stupid. My neighbors are going to call the cops. Every aching crap to find a child who would never be born. <laughs> <laughs> and this last part um verbatim Werner Herzog quote okay I researched my shit all right here we go <laughs> I believe the nature of the universe is not filled with harmony rather chaos hostility and murder <laughs> 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 Which is why Andy Main must spend fives of dollars every month on biological function she has no use for. <laughs> <laughs> Bunny and random plastic bags swinging in a tree. You guys got that? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, this last joke is just for me. Okay. It's something that me and my boyfriend wrote together and i'm gonna i'm gonna workshop it okay because open mics don't exist anymore so <laughs> um it's a new take on an old classic okay knock knock who's there, there. there. interrupting cow interrupting cow who <laughs> your take on an old classic all right new version knock knock who's, who's there, there? The erudite cow. The erudite cow who? Moo! <laughs> <laughs> Did I write a new joke? Oh my god, that feels great. Um, this is the best thing that's happened to me all week. Um, I want to thank my mom and Jesus Christ. Uh, please listen to my podcast, People Enjoying Terrible Accidents. <laughs> uh, you guys are rad um, everyone's been so funny uh, I love you I'm Annie Main bye Man, I actually didn't even know what thing I accidentally said. I accidentally said accents. People enjoying terrible accents. That's fucking funny. That is, I enjoy a terrible accent every single day. Because my dad goes, is this joke funny? Insert thing he cannot say. Uh, and that's his favorite podcast. So somebody make it so my dad has something to do all day. Hey, uh, we're going to keep the show rolling. We have three more comics. If you're just coming here, thank you for coming. Guys, thank you so much. Subscribe in the chat. Try to type right now because you're probably not signed in. You probably can't keep up with it. But I'm going to bring on this next comedy, Man. 
his debut comedy album and special, I Cannot Die, from Stand Up Records, is on iTunes, and the video special is on Vimeo. Look it up. Give it up for Ryan Coney. jokes well guess what when this quarantine's over i'm coming back and i'm coming to kick your freaking butts you noodle idiots <laughs> we got one motto when i'm coming out of this pandemic and that motto is yes bitches because i am ripped <laughs> as hell y'all Look at this. <laughs> i've been going at this thing for about six weeks now haven't stopped cannot feel my legs well, your boy's still rocking his medallion the medallion I got from going to the Witcher premiere. <laughs> and that's just how Hollywood's been treating me, baby. <laughs> All right, I'm going to take a quick five. Uh, honestly, the only break I've taken is, you know what? Let me side saddle this for you for a second. <laughs> Get a little, more, a little bit more intimate. <laughs> I'm going to be honest with you, that's the first time I've done any exercise in about six months. <laughs> and I did it for about 30 seconds before they introduced me <laughs> onto the screen. And I'm going to also be honest with you, these aren't even real muscles. <laughs> I know I've got a lot of followers as an influencer on Instagram. I got a lot of, <laughs> I got a lot of followers that are really expecting me to keep it up. I can't. All right, the, the, the honest, honest to gosh truth. I live in a freaking pile of boxes. I don't know if you can see this, but I currently live in a pile of boxes. I have been kicked out since the last time I did Comedy Wham. I have been, I'd like to say politely escorted out of my house, out of my residence, but it was pretty aggressive. My roommate aggressively kicked me out, but I'm, I'm doing good. I left with this muscle t-shirt, my medallion. Can't strip that from me, not even my cold dead body. I uh, <laughs> had it surgically infused to the back of my neck, so you're gonna have to take the whole vertebrae. <laughs> uh, my pinky ring, I took that before I left. I saw uh, MK, one of the comments before, he was posting about, put it, put out, he put out there that he had a wand I uh, just want to let y'all know my wand is a little bit bigger <laughs> on here, and it is legendary. It's a legendary wand. I, um, uh, it's not true. Simon Gibson's dad did not make this for me. I found this. This is the, the beat most of the cats away. There's a lot of stray cats out here trying to get at. As you can see, a couple of stray cats really got into the side of my cardboard house box house here. And it's been pretty brutal. I found this exercise bike and uh, well, I didn't find, I, I actually threw a dumbbell through a um, Planet Fitness window and I went in and I took one of their, I carried those out. Never had a Planet Fitness membership, but I guess $20. Yeah, you're going to be able to be able to walk that equipment out of there. <laughs> I, uh, you know, I'm going to be real candid with y'all. I'm not doing great. I could use any Venmo y'all could get. I haven't talked to my family since this pandemic has happened. I, uh, I'm extremely upset about that, mostly because me and my father, just for the first time, about three months ago, for the very first time, he, we said, I love you to each other, me and my father. You've heard of them, right, dads? Mine's Kevin. I, I imagine most of them are named Kevin. Uh, he and I said, I love you for the first time. I'm 30, I'm 31 years, well, I'm 131 years old. 
<laughs> and so that's a long time. It took, us, it took us about 10 years to shake hands in a professional <laughs> manner. It took us another two years after that to do it in a more uh, personal, intimate setting. Um, and then it took about another three years for us to even hug. So I was like 17, 18 before me and him even hugged for the first time. And it took another 15 years for him to say, I love you. And my end game with this is I wanted to kiss my dad on the lips. That's what I've been working for for the last 25 years. <laughs> <laughs> and I was once, I was on the final tier. Was this close? He said, I loved you. And then I was going to say about five years from now, I was probably going to just go for it. Kiss just a raw, just a little lip to lip. <laughs> kiss on the lips. Maybe trace his heart. I might trace my dad's heart with my finger and then maybe kiss my finger and then maybe trace my heart with it and then put it up to his lips and then kiss his lips. So that's one thing that this pandemic has really, um, yeah, go. I, uh, I'm gonna be honest with you guys. I don't even. This is. I'm not even doing this on a computer. I filmed this about three weeks ago, and uh, <laughs> just stock footage that I have. I've probably been dead for three years. I've been sending comedy wham videos for the last <laughs> <laughs> silly sets like this for years now. So honestly, one of them probably killed me. And if you never find my body. <laughs> So I guess on a final uh, two second note, let's make this final note three seconds. Have a good one. <laughs> <laughs>was thinking one tupac and i was like no 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 ryan county's not tupac then i was thinking uh a kevin for a dad's name must have been so disappointing after the the movie up because that dog's <laughs> name is kevin and <laughs> and i might be alone on this one anyways but we keep the show rolling uh this next guy he has a new show called tv party and it's coming out on twitch i want it too Give it up for Adam Waitman. sorry for uh for uh the last comic uh because i used to kiss my dad when i was a kid all the time uh all the time I, you know, I didn't know that was weird i thought everybody did that everybody did that when i was a kid you know i grew up in uh, uh ethnically diverse neighborhood it didn't matter if you were black white asian or latino my dad kissed them all <laughs> <laughs> My dad is is a uh, 100% uh, heterosexual Latino, but he identifies as Polly Shore. <laughs> <laughs> when we were growing up, uh, people used to call him a coconut because he's brown and hairy on the outside and full of cocaine on the inside. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry, I'm uh, sorry. My, uh, my comedy watching me is kind of like uh, watching that movie Memento. Uh, because every couple minutes I forget what I was doing and I have to look down at my body at the notes I tattooed on myself. <laughs> Tupac had a tattoo on his stomach that said thug life. Uh, the tattoo on my stomach says, talk about kissing your dad. <laughs> I had the uh, tattoo artist uh, 
write it backwards and uh, upside down. So whenever I look in the mirror, I can remember that he suffers from vertigo and dyslexia. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, being biracial, uh, I'm biracial. Being biracial sucks because uh, half my family is from East LA and the other half is from South Bend, Indiana. You put them together and uh, that's a 100% chance of jail time. <laughs> Things are different now. COVID happened. Oh, fuck. Stuff sucks now. This sucks. You know, I spent uh, uh, literally hundreds of dollars on elderberry. Uh, <laughs> hundreds of dollars on elderberry. And then what happens? He drops out of the race. <laughs> He's sporting Biden. Like old man Biden. You know, things are different. I'm different now. I, you know, I know a lot of people lost their job before the epidemic happened. You know, I was starting to think my job sucked. And now that we're like two months into this epidemic, I'm like, yeah, fucking, yeah, that job fucking sucks. I hate it. Fuck it. <laughs> Smoking weed is different now too, because I smoke a little bit of weed and I trip out about just really easy. If I smoke weed, I trip out very quickly. Uh, I, you know, I used to be like, you know, I'd smoke weed and I'd cough and be like, oh, 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 oh shit, that's, that's good weed. Now I smoke weed and I cough and I'm like, oh, oh shit. The Matrix is back on Netflix. <laughs> <laughs> I play, I play a lot of modern warfare now, which is fun. Uh, but it's weird because you have to talk to other players on it. And that sucks, actually, because it's kind of like talking to my family. Uh, everybody calls me a fag and tells me to move out. <laughs> <laughs> you got time to reflect. You know, you can reflect on things uh, now. And that's fucking boring. I had a bad childhood. Uh, I grew up with an uh, extra piece of skin on my ear. Uh, it was called a uh, bronchial cleft remnant or an ear tag, or as my brother called it, my little second dick. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. <laughs> I grew up with two dicks. My ear tag and my brother. <laughs> 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 uh, a week before high school started, my mom got uh, got it surgically removed, but I still have a scar here, and uh, sometimes it still feels like it's there. I told my doctor that, and he said that uh, I have phantom dick ear syndrome. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Did you know every day one out of seven billion people are affected by phantom dick ear syndrome? Does you or someone you know suffer from phantom dick ear syndrome? According to these statistics, no. But now there's a cure, and it's called <laughs> Diwinithin. Diwinithin is a medical breakthrough that's stopping phantom dick ear syndrome in its tracks. But don't take it from me. Let's hear some testimonials. <laughs> Hey. <laughs> I, I used to have a, I used to have a fan, phantom dick ear syndrome. <laughs> and I, I take a diurene thing and go and, and now it's gone. Phantom dick ear syndrome is dangerous and diurene thing is not for everyone. As you can see from the people that are logging off. <laughs> <laughs> Ask your doctor if Diwini Thin is right for you. And they'll say, what? <laughs> Don't take Diwini Thin if you suffer from the following symptoms already, okay? Mummy tummy, Frankenstein feet, uh, <laughs> zombie farts. Vampire pancake booty. Uh, uh, Steven Dorfism. 
<laughs> Sorry, when he thin is not a real drug. I hate standing. I hate standing in lines. Everybody should get tested for the for the COVID, but the lines are too long. You know, I hate standing in line. You're you're in line forever, and then right when you get to the front, you uh, you get to the. I mean, you get around the corner. You think you're at the front, and then you look, and then somebody else gets the promotion. <laughs> Wish there's a fast pass for that. <laughs> <laughs> so that's what I've been doing. <laughs> uh, did I do that Tupac joke? That's pretty. Yeah. Good. That's pretty good. <sighs> what are you guys doing later? <laughs> This is an impression of me walking in on my mom and stepdad having sex. <laughs> hey, mom. <laughs> hey, mom. <laughs> hey, Greg. <laughs> Yo, mama. Yo, mama. Not you, the cellist. No, you. Can you give me a ride to Chris's house? <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, I guess I'll just go. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right, see, you knocked over my phone now, Mom. You're pumping too hard. <laughs> you and Greg need to quiet down. I'm in the next room. I'm filming a comedy show. <laughs> Thank you. If you like what you saw today, go to uh, internet and look at <laughs> Adam Gonzalez Waitman. Sorry, Adam White Man. Hey, uh -huh, sorry. This dog is yelling at me. He's saying I'm not good enough. <laughs> He's so dog. I'm fine. Hey, guys, I'm Colton Dowling. And this is an isolation comedy show, but guess what? And one more comic. And she's amazing. And she's a co host of Triple Threat, a new live stream comedy show each Thursday at 8 p.m. And she's going to invite me on another show she has, but she didn't want to listen. <laughs> Alex the McCool Dash. <laughs> <laughs> I'm only here to advertise my show at the same time as the Comedy Wham show on Thursdays at 8. Oh my goodness, Colton never says my last name right and he always feels bad about it. So that's actually payment enough for me. Um, <laughs> hi, my name is Allison Voidovich. Um, also Chip, Colton's boyfriend, if you're watching this, Colton really should have washed the dishes. <laughs> I get it. Uh, my boyfriend's bad at that too. Um, I would be the one yelling at you, Colton. <laughs> oh my goodness. Uh, what's up? Oh, Andy, I wanted to say thank you for showing us what Denver's like now that shrooms are legal there. <laughs> That's like a good time. <laughs> oh, she left. Whatever. That's for Andy. Um, you, what, quarantine's, who, who's quarantined? Woo! <laughs> I, I live with my parents and my boyfriend was between leases. So he also was living with me and my parents 
in the quarantine, which was going reasonably well. We live in uh, the thriving metropolis of Round Rock, um, <laughs> budding, budding a suburban town. Never thought that paradise would turn into a hell. Um, <laughs> oh wait, it already was. Uh, so um, yeah, I've been, been quarantining up there. It's been fine. Um, it was going well until uh, a couple weeks ago, um, around 11 a.m. Um, my brother texted me and said that my dad wanted to know why my bed was so squeaky um, <laughs> on a Wednesday. <laughs> so um, we're staying not there anymore. Um, <laughs> that's good. Um, I found out recently that my boyfriend can suck his own dick. Yes, he's a hero. Um, every guy asks me to DM him about my boyfriend after I do this joke. So dudes <laughs> at Aliwo on Instagram, my boyfriend's selling tutorials. Um, <laughs> I get the money though. Um, I'm pimping my boyfriend for dick sucking tutorials. This is what the quarantine <laughs> has done. <laughs> oh my God. Oh, goodness. Um, he can suck his own dick and... When I found this out, it just made me feel the same way I did when I found out he can wash his own dishes. <laughs> <laughs> he just chooses to ask me to do it. <laughs> like, dude, grow up. <laughs> Clean up after yourself. Suck your own dick. I'm not your mom. Structured <laughs> 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 joke check. <laughs> Oh man, what else is new? Oh, okay. Um, I was seeing some prop comedy today. I hate carrying, I don't carry a purse ever. So this is, these live stream shows are my one chance to be a prop comic. Um, as you can tell, I am a white female, so I have crystals in my room. Um, let's, let's do a crystal tutorial. So this guy is supposed to give you clarity and connection, connection to your higher power. Um, <laughs> But all it's given me is the insight to buy more crystals. So that's that one. <laughs> um, this one. Oh, wait. Let's give you names. This one's Cavanasite or Cavanasite. Um, just like a white man to tell me what to do. Buy more crystals. Okay. So uh, next we got Shungite. This one is supposed to block EMF, EMF radiation. Um, but it couldn't block me from going online and buying more crystals. So there's that <laughs> one. Um, Last one I want to show you guys really quickly is Jade. Jade, how about that? Nice and smooth. It's supposed to bring wealth and prosperity, but I keep losing it to buying more crystals. That <laughs> I don't know what someone stopped me. I don't know why I keep buying their rocks. Like, tell me to <laughs> literally take a hike, and there will be more of those than the store has anyway. <laughs> I need to stop. <laughs> um, all right, that's the prop comedy section check. Um Oh, so uh, so I'm supposed to be in three different weddings this year. Um, if, if all goes well, my manifestation worked too well, and I'm actually not in any of them. Um, <laughs> so uh, yeah, I'm in I'm in three weddings as a bridesmaid, which I don't understand why that's an honor. First of all, like if you really loved me, you'd let me skip, okay? <laughs> um, so I'm supposed to be a bridesmaid in three different weddings. And uh, all of them have the same color palette, but they don't want me to rewear my dress. Um, in case you're wondering, they're all dusty blue. Hunter, I had the 64 pack of Crayolas growing up. Um, <laughs> in your language, they're blue. That's what that means. Um, dusty just sounds like an accent. <laughs> Never mind. Um, it's rich people for blue. Um, so uh, yeah, so. <laughs> two of the girls were dumb about their dates as well uh I don't usually get personal in my jokes but Hannah um is uh getting married on July 11th which is 7 <laughs> 11 like like the gas station chain and uh she's also been using the company hashtag which is oh thank heaven <laughs> to post about her her engagement so, like, if you click on that hashtag on Insta Instagram, it is just hot dog photos and <laughs> pictures of Hannah and Harrison. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
Like if I show up to that wedding and she doesn't have gas station snacks for all of us, I'm leaving. (laughs) False advertising. I'm going to go get my free smoothie or free Slurpee smoothie. Fuck me. Can you tell I lift weights? (laughs) Slurpee, whatever. Um, the (laughs) the second, the second friend that was dumb about her date is, uh, Allie and she's getting married on Halloween this year. Which, first of all, I'm already pretending to be happy for you. Don't make me, like, skip the one day where I get to pretend on everything else, too. Um, But uh, (laughs) I realized she actually might be my best friend for this one because um, it made her wedding gift so easy. I'm just going to get her a a zombie bride costume. (laughs) That'll be a beautiful wedding dress because as you know, when someone makes you their bridesmaid, it's just like making you the godparent to their kid. You die. He's mine now. (laughs) Can't wait to see what Allie looks like in that zombie wedding dress on Halloween when I kill her to take her husband. It's my job as the bridesmaid. Uh, 2020 is looking pretty good, guys. I'm going to get married and a free Slurpee. So things are looking great. Quarantine didn't kill it all. unless these weddings don't happen um all right i think that's i think that's it for me uh don't go on crystal websites you'll spend all of your money on them (laughs) (laughs) Woo! And Voidovich, that's how you say that name, like a real <laughs> Polish person. Hey, this is that dog that has shit underneath the very desk I'm talking about. <laughs> Sherman, and he's a monster. Get off my lap, Sherman. You're the worst. <laughs> I just want to just just one thing, Allison. If your boyfriend can suck his own dick, that means that he can have sex with you and eat your ass or other hole at the same time. Holy shit. Boy. <laughs> and then if he calls himself a bendy boy, that's just fun. That's just a <laughs> extra thing you guys can do. He's like, I'm a bendy boy. Hey, <laughs> uh, that's it in our show. Thank you guys so much. Thank you, audience, uh, for laughing and being with us. Thank you guys. That's, that's you as well. Um, thank you guys for all the comics. Thank you, Richard Goodwin, tech master, who controls everything behind the scenes. Thank you, Comedy Wham. Thank you, Laura Smith, for being the manager that you are. Thank you for uh, Valerie Lopez. Thank you, Fishman. He yes! did it. This is, <laughs> yeah. Let's not throw up. That actually, Harrison accidentally described my relationship right now. Uh, except instead of pleasure, it's um, uh, 90 Day Fiance and 600 Pound Life. And I'm just vomiting. Um, <laughs> disgust. I don't know. Thank you guys so much for coming with us. And we will see you next Tuesday. Like, See you next Tuesday. Bye-bye. <laughs>